Hey guys, welcome back to MD Disc Golf. We have an exciting new video today. Obviously, we are in a store. We're in a different location than we normally are at instead of on the course. But we're here at Circle Disc Golf in Warsaw, Indiana. Um, pretty awesome retailer. Today we're out here checking out discs and uh, the main part of the video, you want to tell them, Carson? So Colin and I were talking and came up with a pretty cool idea for today's video. We are going to do a used disc bin challenge and the loser of the uh, the challenge has to play a PGA sanctioned tournament or league with one disc of the other players choosing. So, got a lot on the line here. We're going to go ahead and look through uh, Circle Disc Golf's pretty sweet used selection. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go to a local course and uh, battle it out. So, let's get into it. Yep, it's going to be fun. So we're over here at all of the used bins. So a ton of rows of just used discs. Like we got a Champion T-Bird here. Um, uh, Halo Invader. Invader. Halo Invader. A uh, ton of crazy discs. Hades. Um, and even so, some really obscure stuff like whatever that is. Yeah, some weird putter or driver. Um, but, so we're each going to pick each other's three discs for this challenge. It'll be a putter, a mid-range, and a driver, and then we'll head out to the course. But uh, we'll show you some cool different discs that we find along the way, and uh, just highlight their use section. If you guys see something you like and you're in the northern Indiana area, you can uh, come check out the use section. See it. Maybe if you see a gym or something you like, is that enough? All right, what are you looking for, Carson? Well, I'm going to start with... You guys have seen this in a couple of the videos probably. It's the uh, Tremonti Collab Edition It, Color Globe It, great disc. Alright, I found Collins Putter. It's a Innova Factory Second. I think it's a G-Star AVR. So that's what Colin's gonna putt with. And hopefully um, the... I found an R-Pro Rhino. Oh that's gosh. what Carson's gonna be putting with. So I was being nice, and now he's being mean to me, so I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna hold back for the next one. So for drivers, the course we're going to, you're not gonna really need a big time driver, so kinda, kinda keep it in the fairway driver type type deal. So. <laughs> Proto Hades. Oh, that's another one. Okay, so yeah. So we found these super weird domey like you can hear <laughs> just the dome on these truths. This, this one's even better. So strange. Yeah, listen, listen. Yeah, so I'm gonna make Carson putt with the, or not putt, but his mid range is gonna be the Lucid X Super Weird Dummy Truth. And Collins will also be the Lucid X Super Dummy Truth. Nice. Alright, you Alright, you Alright, that will be Collins. Oh. It's an old DX Fiber. It should be usable. Yeah. It feels pretty good. Here's another cool one. It's, I don't think it's died, I think it's Factory. X Avenger SS. Super pop poppy. Yep. Alright, so for Carson's, Carson's fairway driver, we're gonna go. Mania FD, C line FD. So, Carson will be putting with the Rhino, throwing the Super Domi Truth, and then he's got the FD. So, those are Carson's three. All right, 
So Collins three, a factory second star uh, AVR, another crazy truth with that super pop top dome and a really old DX Firebird. So should be an interesting combo for sure. All right, now we're gonna check out, head to the course and uh, we'll see what happens, how these fly, because you never know how a used bin disc is actually gonna fly. So this might be a little interesting. So come on, hang out. If uh, you made it this far and are liking the video, hit that like and subscribe button. And also come check out Circle Disc Golf because they got a ton of really cool discs. So, all right, now to the course. All right. Here we are at the course. Uh, this is Lucerne Park. Lucerne Park in Orsa, Indiana. So just down the road from Circle Disc Golf. We've got our three discs. We've got the nine holes. Time to put some discs in some whole baskets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Colin has a distinct advantage here because I've never even seen this place before and Colin's a local. So I'm gonna do my best. But I've only played this course like two or three times maybe. He actually. has an advantage. It's, <laughs> I, I'm playing blind, but I think it's gonna be a good time. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Yep. Hole one. All right. Hole one, 232 feet. Uh, it's uh, basically you gotta throw straight down this hill and get it left of this fence line, fence row basically. Um, yeah, just a nice little downhill straight shot. So I think to start, I'm gonna go with my factory second AVR, 166 grams, so it's a little light, but we're just gonna float it out there. Never thrown an AVR before, so this will be fun. It's a little windy too. You can take that for me, buddy? Yeah. Thanks. It is a slight, it's a tailwind at least. All right, here we go. AVR. Get off the tree. I mean, down there. That's pretty good. It's down there a little bit. It's down there. So, Carson's up. All right. All right, buddy. Um, our pro rhino is really flexible. <laughs> That's awesome. And I don't know. I, I'm going to. I want a forehand. Is there an OB? Is there OB in this? Uh, OB is across this fence line. Okay. I'm just going to play it safe and go back in. Uh, gosh, this looks like a terrible idea. It's a little daunting. All right. Oh, that thing is stable. Okay. That actually goes a lot farther than I thought. Like, I thought I was going to have to try and like really muscle it. I thought I thought Colin was going to be a little mean to me with the, the rhino. It's not bad. I think yeah. this should be this should be pretty good. Carson kept complaining that I was being mean, but I'm actually being pretty nice. It's gonna be fun. Show off that yeah. mini. All right. Carson has this awesome 3D printer and decided he wanted to make some uh, minis for us. Now, I think they're sweet. Minis. I don't know. Hopefully the sparkle can. They are show pretty sparkly. The yeah. But yeah. All right, Carson's got. What, like 20, uh, 30 footer, 35 yeah. footer? In system. With the rhino, at least it's, you know, you're putting with the rhino in the wind. And he just lays up. I guess Carson doesn't want to lose. He doesn't want to play a sanctioned round with just, with with just the disc. rhino. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going for this putt. I'm not laying it up. Just a nice little, little toss. First putt with the AVR. AVR goaded? Question go. mark? Let's go. Question mark? Uh. Right. Next. A little uh, tappy. On hole two. All right, hole two, 229 feet. Um, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try the truth for the first time here. Uh, super domey. I don't know if you can even see that. That is crazy. Um, yeah, not sure how it's gonna fly, but I guess we'll see. You guys will see too. So, all right, there we go. All right, send it. Yep. And get down. That thing's a little stable. Yeah. And I went way far. I got a long putt coming I'm gonna, back. I'm gonna read off of Colin, and I'm gonna go back to the Rhino, because this thing has stability. It's good to see, and hopefully, just push it straight and then fade into the hill, or over 
Grip lock, overturn. Overturn the rhino. All right. I got a decision here. Do I do a little forehand shot? That's playing into the hill. Probably safe to just do hyzer around this tree. Wow, that thing is does not dump. I thought it was gonna just dump. Nope. Doesn't it's beat in, buddy. That's the that's the nice thing about the use bin. That's an awkward lie. Yeah. Alright, straw put with the AVR. Nope. Left. It's a good run. Left and left. All right, I gotta make this to stay close. Colin. It actually puts kind of nice. Yeah. And like our pro plastic is really flexible. I don't know why I like it, but I do. Maybe I just need to putt with the rhino. You're guys. welcome. You're welcome. Shut up, dude. Here, I'll tap you out. Look, the AVR putts too. Ah. <laughs> Hole three, 267 feet. Uh, super, or, I mean, the basket's dead straight ahead, but there's trees in the way. Um, I'm gonna see how well this DX Firebird flies. Really old DX Firebird. Yeah. I mean, that's probably, this thing was probably made before I was born. Oh, look at the bar stamp. That's an old one. That's very yeah. old. Yeah. It's a beautiful looking disc though. Let's see. I don't, I'm gonna trust it on a forehand, I guess. Question mark. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh baby. That flip up forehand. Oh baby. I don't want to hear anything. That you get that, you have to be dialed. That is. I don't want to hear anything. Amazing, dude. Stop it. I barely even threw that too. That was nice. What can I say? That was nice. I know my discs. Beat up DS, DX Firebird. All right, I'm gonna try the same. Um, my fairway, it's an FD. It's probably not gonna go very well, but I'm gonna try the same kind of idea. Just a little flip up forehand. Not juice it too much. It's only 267. Yeah. Ah, ooh. It stood in the way. Nobody could see your shot. Oh, well, it wasn't good. It wasn't hit, good enough to look hit, at. He hit the tree. I hit the tree. Sadly. I hit the tree on the left there. Yeah. That's pretty bad. It's kind of stable. I think you trust the rhino. Try the, well, maybe try the truth. I don't know. I, mean, I figure, because I know it's going to dump out. So if I just put it like a little bit of a flex on the left here. P.S. These truths are very stable for truths we found. Not if you put them on that much Anheuser. Maybe a little too much Anheuser. A little too much straight. Hey, third time's a charm. There you go. Much yeah, better. that was my shot. Woo. <laughs> All right, time to bang another putt. Long one. The rhino. Nice and straight. Oh, wow. That thing's got a little bit of glide to it. Dude, it was a line. It's perfect. Nice putt it's with, perfect. With the rhino. Dang. Just a little bit. And Colin with the uh, pending birdie right here. Oh. Well, at least I'm not the only one. Darn. I need to put with that. We'll, we'll tap in. Tap in birdie. Tap in, yep. or par. Tap in a bogue. Dang. Well, Colin's two up. I'm now. up. Uh, so I'm one under your what? One over? Yes. Tisk tisk. Looks like Carson's gonna be playing with one disc. All right. Hole four, 301 feet. Uh, it's down there. It's blocked by some trees. You can't really see it right now. If you can see like the dirt around that big tree down there, it's behind that. Yeah. Um, walking path slash road is OB, so across the fence. And then um, playground area is also OB. So I'm gonna go with my DX Firebird and see if I can just put it straight. Cause I don't wanna put it on forehand and have it go out of bounds. Here we go. I mean, 
it's just a great flying disc. And I powered down on that quite a bit. That was like a 50% throw and it just glided oh, and went straight. All right, Carson's going with his FD. All right, I gotta, I gotta make this. I gotta, this gotta be a good shot. Go well. Oh, yes. Off the tree. Dude. Wow. Dude. Dude. Carson. Dude. All right, so I got pin high, but I still have a little bit of a putt to go. Can't really do my normal putt stand, so we're gonna straddle. Downhill, so if I miss, there's a good chance this goes out of bounds. OB is behind the camera. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's a nice little toss. Oh, he's safe. Darn it. Sorry, guys, a little bit of a freak out there. Hit the leg, but he's safe. He's good. Now he's got an uphill comebacker. All right, I've got to hit this putt. If I want to uh, guarantee at least one a one stroke lead over Carson. Why? No, stop. Sit. There we go. Alright. If Carson makes this putt, we're tied. A little flip. Alright. Dang, I have Dude. to hit this putt now to stay tied with oh. Carson. Thankfully, this is just a tap in. Tied up. Alrighty, that's uh, tied like up that. even. Yep, tied up at even. All right, hole five, 358, 358 feet, par four. So it's, if you follow that fence line, it's down to the left of the trees. So looking like it could be a, a power forehand don't have i'm thinking probably just kind of like a low hyzer with the fd so that's what we're gonna go for nice not that low skip oh. get through that's just fine miss release but we'll take it nice. still playing for birdie there you go all right i think i'm gonna go uh flip up backhand with my dx firebird we're gonna see how it goes It's still got a little stability left yeah. to it. It's uh, didn't flip up, it flipped up to flat, but then that's about all I wanted to do. It didn't want to turn, so we're down there though. Some choices here. I think I'm just gonna go for a soft little toss, the Rhino, to try and push through this gap here. Keep it low in case you try to kick off a tree, but nice and controlled. Stay bounce. Oh. That kick out of bounds? No, I think I hit the post of the fence and it pushed me back in bounds. Oh, that's good. A double kick. Again, putting with the uh, factory second AVR, premium plastic, 166 grams. Uh, here we go. Ooh, into a headwind. We're going to give it a nice little step slash jump putt. Oh. Still got a long putt. Wasn't that bad though. It's a good run. No, missed the tree, at least. All right, so thank you, Post. Keep me in bounds here. It's got a little Anheuser straddle butt. Wow. Apparently, wow. I need to switch to the freaking Rhino, dude. <laughs> wow, and the pressure's on. Dude, fireflies be be uh, sweating right now. <laughs> yeah. Now I gotta make mine. Stay tied. Here we go. I can make this. Hey, Ooh, good make. Left side chains. Good make. And it's stuck. Thank goodness. Still tied up, dude. Still tied up. Evens. All right. Let's come down to the home stretch here. Not quite. We're getting there. Full six. R3, 221 feet. So, just straight ahead. Got this kind of narrow fairway gap to hit here. So, we're gonna disc down. 
go with the uh, Domi Domi Truth. Let's try to hit this line. It's pretty muddy here. Skip. Oh, that might be just outside the circle here, but clean. It's up there. Not too bad. These will tell the truth as to who has the better shot. I swear, there's always, you always have one like in your back pocket, a, what? Pun, a pun. No, I mean, I just thought of it. It's not oh, like yeah. it was back here or something, but we're both throwing the truth, Domi truth on here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a little flex to get down there through the gap instead of a hyzer. Yeah, I think we'll be just about the same. Let's go. So pretty similar, Colin got a little bit further. So now I gotta make another good putt. It's probably right edge of circle here. Do a little flip. And uh, gotta make this. Dude, it Dang, was right there. Your putt is looking so good with that disc. I know. So good. So close. Somebody's closer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. All right. Let's see if this stays tied up. Or if Colin's going to pull ahead here by one. Don't, don't, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Oh, of course he makes it. Count on Colin to be clutch I'll, when he needs to. I'll tap you in real quick because I kind of want to. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Up one. Going with my overstable truth again. This time I'm actually going to give it a, a flex shot because last time I had a really weird, awkward. So run up. hole seven. So, oh yeah, we're on hole seven. So this is roughly 280 feet. Here we go. Ooh, you fade out? I Thanks, mean. Thanks Tree. Thanks Tree, that disc is a beaut. Yeah, that a was a nice beaut. shot, dude. It's gonna be uh... I guess it's gonna be a battle of the truth here. Again. Who's right? Back to back holes. Who's right, me or Colin? My truth versus your truth. Ooh. <laughs> Somebody's <Almost. Almost>. closer. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can tell, technically he's closer. The baits show up because it's like a circle, you know? You know, arc length is a thing. Uh huh. But. All right, Mr. Engineer. All right. That, no, sit, sit. <laughs> Almost, just a little high. Almost. Dang. I'm gonna just clean it up for us. Yeah. All right, got. The, wait. Oh no. Go get it, bud. I don't think that happened. I have video evidence, so I don't. I don't. I don't think that happened. I think it did. <laughs> all right, all the way down there. Got to make the comebacker for bogey. Oh, I was gonna say no way. That was a good run though. Good run. Ended up right under the basket. That's a walk shame right there. Oof. All right, hopefully I don't roll this away like Carson did. I could just lay up and be mean right now. You really could. That could be really boring. But I so, mean. This is, this is YouTube. What are we talking about? Of course I'm running this. <sighs> Miss. Miss it. <sighs> That's the luckiest shit <laughs> I've ever seen in my entire life. I should just putt with that truth. Hey, yeah. let it be known, I made my second putt with the truth. All right? That's a good putter. All right, we're on hole eight, 286 feet downhill. And as a thank you and our appreciation for watching this far into the video, uh, we're going to give this away. We're going to give away this truth, this super awesome Domi overstable truth. Um, if you want a shot at winning this thing, just comment down below truth eight uh, for hole eight. Um, and we're throwing the truth on it. 
yep, you guys can get this disc, and I'm just going to show you right now how to throw it and show Carson how to throw it too. So here we go. Give it a little flex line to get it down the hill. You guys might not be able to see it, but it's down there. It is. Under right. the basket. These things are flying actually really sick. Short. Hit the hill. Roll. You gotta hit the sickest putt of my life. Hit this thing with the with the rhino. Ooh. Close. Yeah, I'll be a tapping par. At it. A tapping par, I think. <laughs> Respect the seven footers, right? Respect the seven footers, guys. It's it's just it's my own saying, and of course I don't do it. So we can do this with this AVR. I actually really like the feel of it. Ooh, that's way short. This is it. Full mine. Par four, two ninety two. Uh, uphill, I. I, it has to be uphill. I don't see the basket. Yep. It's uphill. See that evergreen tree up there? Yes. Kind of sparse. Yep, it's up basically right next to that almost. So, um, I'm currently plus two, and Colin is minus one. So, looks like Carson is going to be doing the one disc challenge. It's not over till it's over. I guess that's true. And now Carson's hitting me with discs. So, yeah. All right, last chance. Take it away, Colin. Yep. All right. You know what it is, DX Firebird. We're going around the right side. Let me get a read off you because I literally don't know where this is. Is that good? Eh, it's all right. It'll work. It'll work. I'm not gonna, not gonna lose the lead to that. C line, FD. Close it out. Of course, it's low. And stick. Well, it's not like there was much of a chance anyway. You can see the basket now, kind of. I have to go up around this tree and kind of stay straight. So, I'm going to try to do yeah, a little kind of air bounce up shot. The truth. Might be a little right of it, but should be a putt. All right. All right, since I've got, what, three strokes to play with? Something like that. I'm gonna have a little fun. I'm gonna try and make it through this little gap. A little Anheuser shot with the AVR. Patent pending. Here we go. Ooh. Where'd that go? Right? It went a little deep, deep right. For the win, for the official win, the AVR. The bane of my existence, Colin Marshall. There he is. It's shame too. It was a good shot on my part. Carson cleaning it up. In all fairness, like a really good second shot. Yeah, it was. It's just too a little too late. So apparently, not even the R Pro plastic can save my putting woes. Um, what are you gonna do? <laughs> you just had the one the one roll away really just killed you. Yeah, that was dumb and I'm embarrassed that we got that on camera because that was stupid and it happened. It was like seven feet. Seven footer. Hey, that's fine. But uh hey, so Carson now has to play with one disc. Womp womp. In his uh in his league next week. So in like two days. Yeah. So I'm not, be fun. I'm not prepared. Um, I'm not I'll, prepared for this. So I'm going to analyze the course, and then I'm going to pick one disc for him to throw the whole time. And also for you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching this far. And uh, remember, Truth 8, uh, which means we really know you guys watched this far to the video. If you guys want, want this truth, um, this thing is beefy, and it's really fun to throw. So definitely going to want it. Lastly... Uh, Huge yeah. shout out to Circle Disc Golf for providing all of these discs for us. Go check them out. Go give them some love. Um, if you can go uh, visit them in person, there's some really cool gems. There's see a little bit, uh, probably see a, a few of them in the video, but 
yeah, they have a great selection. The guys are awesome. Show them some love. Yeah. Thank you so much, Circle Disc Golf. You guys are great. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on MD Disc Golf. Peace out. Peace.